how are you? Um, I've had a hell of a day and it's just getting started. So uh, in that spirit, I'm gonna do a bit of a hybrid thing. I'm gonna do both my normal opening the mail because there's two very large packages, which I must inspect. But also uh, I went to Ulta today to stock up on all of the things that I need to look good on camera. Um, which is a lot of crap, man. <laughs> it's true. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, this box right here. We'll start with the mail and then I'll get into the Ulta haul. Um, I'm a little late to the Ulta train, I will say, uh, because I was in beauty school, um, I'm becoming an esthetician. I actually have an esthetician's license. So if I get most beauty supplies, I go to the pro stores, which are here in LA, which are great if you have them in LA, but not everybody has that kind of access or um, the certificate that gets the discount. Uh, and so, yeah. So Ulta is my new freaking heaven. How did no one tell me about it? It's wonderful. So first, let's see what's in the mail. And this is the new wallpaper that I'm gonna put in my bedroom. Uh, this is from a designer named Justina Blakeney. Uh, I recently discovered her. Uh, she's fabulous. Uh, she did that rug that's back there. I've got a couple of her other items. Um, but it's gonna be a blue palm print. I'm gonna do an accent wall behind my bed because I can't decide on a headboard. So wallpaper it is. Uh, Justina Blakeney is pretty great. Uh, I will say, however, her new, she's done a lot of collabs with other brands that I know, like Lolai or um, Burke Decor, but she has her own company and app called Jungalo, which every time I hear makes me think Juggalo, because <laughs> I may have had an ICP phase in, uh, you know, sixth grade, because it's, you know, it was cool then. Mm. Mm, yes. I need my wine today. Had a very, very long day. But as soon as I'm done showing you all my goodies, I have to go do a bunch of work <laughs> and shoot some more stuff for other platforms um, and then get ready for a shoot tomorrow. So here we are for a living. I actually went out in public in this headband because my car battery died so i had to get it jumped and the triple a guy said he they said they're gonna be here in 50 minutes i get a phone call while i'm in the shower being like we're gonna be here in 10 i'm like well that's uh that's what it is and when you get your car jumped obviously you have to drive around so i was out in a sugar bear hair headband because it is kind of made of like fabric like a absorbent material i have no idea what this is Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was wondering why this was so freaking heavy. And I think I have the answer. Um, this is definitely a gift from somebody, which I appreciate because it's an item that is never stocked anywhere in LA, which makes zero sense. And it is the best thing to mix with vodka that is also zero calories. Because the normal vodka soda gets incredibly boring and that's what 99% of the people here in LA drink. So uh, there's no note. So thank you to whoever hooked me up with my precious freaking Fresca. I love it. I love you. Um, I think I'm actually gonna mix this with some uh, rosé that I have frozen into ice cubes uh, sometime in the near future. So that should be a good time. But let's get to my Ulta haul because I am, I've always been obsessed with makeup products. Uh, when I was a little girl, um, I shared a bedroom, and so the only place I could get privacy was the bathroom. So I used to hide in there for hours, and I would read books, and then I would play with makeup. And then, of course, I became, you know, a model in my 20s and have always struggled with acne. Um, I'm actually not that bad right now. i got a couple little guys. Uh, but makeup and skincare became a passion of mine, including, um, I mean, it let, it let me become an institution. So, first up, I want to say big ups to, this is Ulta. I spent all of my money with them today. I hope they enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I got a bunch of scented candles. Um, these were all on the discount rack. They were from 20 bucks down to nine bucks, which I appreciate. I was getting all my candles at Marshall's, but somebody is, uh, someone's told everybody that Marshall's is the only place to get candles. And the ones that are left when I go by do not smell good. So finding a discount rack of candles at Ulta really made my day. And considering that I am someone that loves to entertain and has one bathroom, you always got to have a candle in the bathroom. Always. It's just the polite thing to do. Um, what else did I get today? More acne dots. I've talked about these. These are a different brand that I normally order from Amazon. Um, we'll see how they go. Uh, I, um, Oil of Olay Regenerist. This is my most purchased beauty item. I have been using this consistently since 22. It is the only thing that doesn't make me break out. But also doesn't give me melia, which are, um, melia are like when you get those little white bumps around your eyes and it's from a, a lotion that is like too creamy. So it doesn't, it kind of creates a pimple from the outside of your skin and you just have to lance them to get them out. So I've been using this since I was 22. I'm 37 now. I think that's a pretty good endorsement. Um, what else did I get? Okay. That's more acne stuff. Um, oh. This Tarte Ultra Creamy, I'm more tan these days, so I've had to switch to the 35 Medium for the Tarte Ultra Creamy. I love that things are coming in mini sizes because with makeup, you never know. With COVID, we don't want to make returns and exchanges, so it's really nice to have like a, not really a sample size, but a size that you can try. Um, mini Trio Lashes. Um, and then this was a, this was, this was a splurge today. Uh, as you know, I'm going to be Princess Diana for, uh, Halloween on Saturday night. And so I had to get some of her iconic navy blue eyeliner to do the makeup. And so I splurged and I got this from Lancome, which is not a company I normally purchase things from, but I think it's going to be really pretty. So we'll see. I'm sure there'll be pictures posted. <laughs> and then that's not all. I went ham in there. This is Whenever I discover something new, like it, it's go hard or go home. So I got a whole second bag of stuff. To be fair, I did need to buy some hot tools, uh, which really brought up my overall to total. I got some new makeup brushes. These were on discount. Um, I've been using the same makeup brushes they gave me in beauty school for a few years and they are just falling apart. So new brushes, reapped on my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencils. They had a nice little two set which is for the holidays, I think. Um, but love a discount, love a gift back. Um, and then, most importantly, I got hot tools. So I got a brand new curling iron um, because I didn't have one. And uh, I was trying to make it work with just hot rollers, but my hair, there's not a lot of it. It's growing out, but there's still, hot rollers weren't quite doing the trick. And I had purchased this, curling iron that was uh powered by butane which i should have realized was not a good idea but in my head i was like it's cordless it can go anywhere it can also light some shit on fire so it definitely burned me um and then the last thing that i got was a replacement because as you know well, as, as i hope you know um i had really like major shoulder surgery in 2016 that's why my hair is short finally now in 2021 i can grow my hair out um, because you know, when you're going recovering from surgery, styling your hair like this, is not something you're going to do if it causes a lot of pain. And thankfully I am mostly pain free. Um, but to help with my hair drying out process, I still can't give myself a proper blow dry. So I've been using, it's a combination between a, um, it's a hair dryer and a brush at the same time. And that's just been really a lot nicer for my shoulder. I had gotten a cheapy one off Amazon, which I had liked a lot, but uh, blow dryers are kind of designed to fail. It's because that's how they create their heat. So mine had gotten to the point where the plastic was splitting apart on the handle and it was like burning my hand every time I was trying to dry my hair and probably burning my hair. So finally got the upgrade today, baby. Woo! So we'll take this person and it's good to see you. Um, I guess, is it Friday? Is this Friday night? Oh, well, I hope that you have a fabulous Friday as well. <laughs>